I know it's been more than a month, but did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did ya? I hope you did, because I missed you. Hello everyone and welcome to Danielle Reads Reviews where I'll be discussing with you a new book. Alright, so the book of the week was The Invisible Life of Ali LaRue by V.E. Squab and it's a fantasy slash history fiction. Alright, so the book takes us back to the 1700s in France and technically in a small town called Avalon where we meet our protagonist, uh, Ali LaRue. Now, Ali LaRue was raised in a very religious family, but she wasn't really convinced that that is the way she wanted it to be. She befriends this uh, old woman named Estelle who believes in the old gods and doesn't really believe in the new gods. Uh, so uh, Estelle teaches Adi LaRue about these old gods and how that if you can like give them an offering, they will grant uh, your prayers or your wishes. But she warns her that she shouldn't pray to the gods after dark. Adi uh, faces a pickle when she is a bit road to this uh, man and doesn't really want to get married, so she basically runs away. Uh, on her wedding day uh, and is chased by her parents who really want her to get married uh, so she makes an offering to the gods after the dark and gets into the um, bargaining of her life basically she makes a deal with the devil and she trades her soul for 300 years of life 300 years isn't the only thing that she gets out of this horrendous deal. Uh, she is also forgotten, uh, cannot write or say her name or tell her real story to anyone she meets. Uh, 300 years later and she still lives that invisible life until she meets a boy who is called uh, Henry who happens to have had a deal with the devil as well and uh, yeah from then on things start to get really interesting i guess all right so let's talk about the writing style real quick adi laru was written in a very beautiful way i just kept reading every line and every quote and i was like wow this is really poetic and just beautifully written i think you can tell by the pages that i um marked with page stickers because like i just kept highlighting really good quotes in there uh, so yeah the writing was really beautiful the e-squab delivered uh from that uh perspective okay so let's get to the hard part uh, of all of this i didn't actually like the plot i mean the idea was really good and it was very ambitious but i just i just got bored i i really got bored from the story like i didn't like the development i didn't like like anything that went on like the only thing that was interesting was the bargaining itself of the souls and the devil uh, and this dance that they had for 300 years um, but that is all like I didn't like the story I didn't like the book basically I only liked the writing the writing was really phenomenal but story-wise I just thought that it wasn't that great it wasn't that great this is the least VE swap work that I actually like and it's actually pretty disappointing because I was really really excited about this book but it did not deliver what I wanted it to deliver the idea is really strong the execution wasn't that great something else that I liked uh, in the plot was the fact that um, there were drawings and paintings and poetry and songs uh, written about this mysterious girl who no one really knows is actually Addie throughout the history and it was really nice to see it documented inside this book um, that was really interesting like that was one of the few interesting things that I enjoyed while reading Addie Lowe all right so let's discuss the characters real quick the protagonist uh, was Addie of course um, 
was a very interesting character, I'm not gonna deny that. Uh, she was very interesting, very well written. I really have no complaints about any characters, like even Henry, who popped up after 300 years and became her love interest. And also the devil, who was like the most interesting character actually in this whole fiasco. So uh, props to the devil for entertaining me um, in this huge book. Um, and uh, yeah, like overall the characters were fine. Like. They weren't special, they weren't that amazing, but they were still decent enough to read about. So overall, the book was really average. It, it, it is not worth the hype that surrounded it, basically. To me, to me, that's my opinion. I just, I, I was very underwhelmed uh, with the results and um, yeah, it wasn't as great as I expected it to be. Oh. I feel so disappointed. But the writing was amazing. The writing was amazing. I keep saying that because like it really, really was. So yeah, if you want to pick this book up, if you're interested, then go ahead. But as for me, it's my least favorite VE squad work. So yeah. All right, so that is it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you stick around for next week's review. And until next time, see ya and bye.